production, ADR, that's Adam David Reynolds, art, mostly mid-2000, rolling in five, four, three, two, one, rolling. So let's look at some of ADR's art. Here we see two people, perhaps a couple, entangled by worms or snakes in a relationship. Here, my painting of a daffodil. Both done in acrylic, although made to look as if they're actually in oil with heavy layer technique. Now every artist likes to capture something that they adore and nothing more could be more appropriate for ADR painter than the cat. He loves to paint a feline and he did. This was done on canvas and oil. Painter ADR was brought up predominantly near Honiton. Upon the age of 20, he bought a house in Honiton, his first home. This is just a sketch. Around this time, life was eventful. Come mid-2000, life was very, very funny and a series of squirrel paintings in watercolour came about by ADR Films and ADR Painter. It was a series of paintings of activities of life at the time through the eyes of a squirrel. This happens to be Squirrel Adam and Squirrel President Lord Sir Barker. Of course, many squirrels resided at Horsey University. Some squirrels plotted to make the movie. Other squirrels went into rehab. The squirrels would often frequent at the cinema in the Devonshire town of Sidmouth. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Of course, all the squirrels had left school at this time. So, the squirrels would often frequent inside and in the garden of 22 Steel Close Honnet and Devon. Mm. The squirrels hide out. Around this time, many parties happened and rather fruitful activities would happen, if not to say a little daring, at Perry Hell Nurseries, Honiton. Others would happen at Mount Peasant, Exeter, home of President Barker. But the more eventful scene would happen at Perry Hale, home of President Squirrel David. But every so often, President Sir Lord Barker would frequent in the occasional trip back to the shires of the Hembury for some rural activity. You know, he was acquainted to country life. Trips to the Mount Pleasant, the unravelled meeting place, 
Henry's would take place. Trips to the Progro shop. Probably back then to the doctors at Ottery St Mary. But always frequenting back to the tree houses, the squirrels would go. It has been known, not in a homosexual way of course, that the squirrels would reside at Ringpiece nightclub in the shires of Exeter. The squirrels would queue for hours to get into this joint. No more livelier race out in boy racers Adim squirrel N509 LCD Citroen. Mm. The squirrels would often think back to the 90s when they used to frequent the dreamscape raves. They were hardcore ravers. There'd be thousands of them. Once a year for the pageantry of fire, almost a team relay sport, the squirrels would uh, bimble on down to Ottery St Mary to see the annual tar barrel procession. The squirrels would often collect their shrooms from the Progro store, spending a lot of time in the Apple Mac computer store when opened in Exeter. The squirrels would often make a long, weary travelling trip out to the countryside of Escott Park. They'd often go on their horses as children, but latterly they just pop up to the woods for a walk, visit the tree people, road protesters. Now it's just used almost as a nature reserve and uh, a place to hold a good festival, beautiful days. But they did used to enjoy the old campus festivals. Squirrel Lord President Barker was always full of good ideas. Often a bright idea would come to him. Mm -hmm. They'd often come whilst uh, working from home in Manston Road, Exeter. He'd be up in his boudoir and he'd often think, I've had a jolly good idea, old fellow. But was he the sort of squirrel to lead you up the garden path? Only you could decide later on in this film. A few years later, the squirrels released their first LP. But it was mostly sold on cassette. It has been known that it's available on CD now. Back in the shires of Ottery St Mary, Devon, it was always ripe for pixies, but they'd never bothered the secondary school education people at King's School. The squirrels really felt at home there with the people. They'd often go out joyriding with them. Back in the shires of Honiton, on King's Road at the back of Steel Close, the annual squirrel space hopper Ribena Rally would take place. Occasionally the squirrels would pop down to the seaside to meet their deranged friends. They'd often have the freak show camp once a year down on the beach. The squirrels really enjoyed it.
Many, many years later, the squirrels, just some of them, would meet up at the Tiverton Hot Air Balloon Festival. Squirrel, young squirrel anyway, yeah, that's right. Young squirrel Sam would always look dazzling in her frock. These days it seems rare for a squirrel to smoke, but the squirrels often enjoyed an ale and a good old fag in the uh, public house in Exeter. They used to enjoy going to Henry's Bar. Just for selected squirrels, like uh, the great Uncle Phil, he would often enjoy a good old game of chess. Mm. The squirrels have had to put up with one lunacy coming into their tribe, though, at times. He would enter steel close in Honiton. But the squirrels soon got shot of him. Young wiener squirrel would often sob. In the shires of Pay Hembury in Devon, the young squirrels Melody and Adam would often have little tater tate rendezvous. Nearby would be Lord B Sir President Barker. Of course, squirrels are rather like people in many ways. The tribe of squirrels that we've been following so far and will continue to in this film always thought the slipknot squirrels were rather obscure and strange. But they still went to see them once. And they all said the same thing. They'd rather be with Squirrel Margot at a good clay shoot at President Squirrel Davy's house. They really enjoyed Mummy's teddy bear's picnic there too. Mm, mm, mm. Weena Squirrel wasn't at all upset. Although she often sobbed, she never sobbed when she met her new love and went off tracking on camels in Egypt with the other squirrels. One of the camels even spat in a pint of beer at President Barker's house. It was probably intended for Squirrel Adam. But the squirrels would always think back to their happy times at... King's School, Lottery St Mary. Some even stayed there so long that the Sixth Form Centre was known as the Seventies Centre. The squirrels had heard of the activities happening in another country. They heard it was called Australia and it was down under. So they all went to see Squirrel Rolf Harris at the Sidmouth Folk Festival to see if he was stood upside down or not. But he wasn't. They had a kick ass time. Kick ass. Fucking what is it? But the squirrels would always say that for a bit of a weekend break their favourite hideout was at Davy Perry Hale, Lord Sir's gaff. He had a whopping tree house and no mistake. They'd often laugh about Squirrel Wovel. Yes, Wovel. 
Squirrel Wuthel would often have the mickey taken out of him for no apparent reason other than he used to like getting rubbed in gravel and put in the fish pond. <laughs> the squirrels often looked at their photograph they took. They only ever took two photographs. One at the Escot Campus Festival and one at the e Escot Beautiful Days Festival. They really enjoyed themselves there, and no mistake. Woof woof! Were they barking mad? The squirrels would often enjoy a game of leisurely cards. They'd go round to uh, Squirrel, Simone, mm, Squirrel Simone's in Ottery. He had a whopping great thunderous huge shed. Who's this at the window? Ah, oh, Brother Simon is having a poker night. I will play them a few chords on the Dylan. And Peter, Paul and Mary on my guitar. Mmm. Shroomy days. Walker would say. That's President Lord Walker. Reynolds. You shot me through the ear with a dart whilst playing darts. Harrison would say. Hey Ashby, got any beers? President Phil would say. Not very hardcore, Ashby would say. The squirrels thoroughly enjoyed their visit to Sweden and they all remarked on how young Squirrel's Abba looked. I mean they could have only looked about 15 years of age. It has been known that some of the squirrels even used to travel up to London and have a good gawp round. They'd often see Squirrel Queen although she was out on this particular occasion. Oh no! Blow me down sideways, she's on the back of a 53 bus to Notting Hill. Oh no, just as I was feeling upset enough already, it's Squirrel Wiener sobbing to Mummy. And it's Squirrel Wiener's birthday as well, there's her cake look. Meanwhile, Back in the shires of Perry Hell near Honiton, the Yard of Ale contest is taking place. One squirrel decided to do it with whiskey. He got so drunk he got tied to the back of the car, ran down the high street, broke his leg and ended up in A&E. <laughs> squirrel Twatchel was a bit of an intellect, at least he used to think he was. It was all to do with the length of his teeth, apparently. But he'd often sit at home nursing President Adam's dog, that's President Squirrel Adam, with Sister Wiener and Daddy Marty. The squirrels would often retort their eyes out the window when a good thunderstorm came along. Bang! Bang. Occasionally the squirrels would be sitting at home chilling in their tree house in Honiton when an unexpected visitor from Exeter would pop round. Then they'd all meet from all over the county of Devonshire in the Hairy Mound pub. They used to love the Hairy Mound pub. Mm. They'd often have a beef carvery. Then they'd bimble on to Beer, Branscombe, Seaton, or even just to the hills to overlook the view. Of course, with squirrels, some like to sit inside reading or watching television, having the odd smoke. Others like to be outside 
on a magical trip somewhere. Some aren't worldly travellers, so they bimble on up in the sporty FSO to Glastonbury Music Festival. They'd love a few lines from Squirrel James, Squirrel Cocker, Squirrel Bowie, or so on and so forth. Mm, yes, that's right. But of course some squirrels are slightly more adventurous. I mean, we've already established that. Anyway, yes, that's right. They pop off on a cheap, grotty holiday abroad. You know, pick one up for a couple of hundred quid or something. Of course, the squirrels don't pay in quids. They play in nuts. But there's one thing to be said about nearly all squirrels of this era. The minute the bell had gone, they'd knuckle down to their work on their computers. They'd often stay in contact with each other by computer too. Mm. All their computing skills, or largely, were learnt by, although, well, going back a little further, some had them as children. They used to love their Whamstrad, given to them by Lord Sugar Squirrel. But, um, no, latterly, they'd actually learn their computing and IT skills through Fuzzy Furry Fairgate. It was a thrill when Squirrel Barker got his new computer... Mmm. He smoked so much, put it all together and buggered off to the pub. Ha! <laughs> he came back home, blaring drunk, slept for a month with President Squirrel Carlos. Whilst other squirrels, like Margot and Brother Retta, would often frequent at the uh, Knoll Arena. They used to like to think they were gentry. They'd often be on the council. The parish council, anyway. But the squirrels would always find a way of communicating with each other, usually through t-shirt art. The ballerina, the seashell, and the jug.
That was production ADR, that's Adam David Reynolds art, mostly mid 2000 scenes lots. It's the first take on roll one on a Sony Handycam model HDR CX190E in SDHC card format. Filmed on the 23rd of the 8th 2013. Sounds in stereo. Production company was ADR Films. Director was ADR. Cameraman was ADR. That's Adam David Reynolds. And that's a wrap. And this is ADR, that's Adam David Reynolds, the artist and filmmaker, saying thanks for watching.